All right, welcome back. Good Samaritans and a microchip led to a reunion between a dog and its owner. And even though they were thousands of miles apart, I'm showing you how distance can sometimes bring you closer. A dog was recently found roaming the streets of Traveler's Rest on a rainy night. I saw him limping down the middle of the road in the dark, in the rain. Jennifer says the dog was in rough shape. My first thought was, I need to take him to the emergency vet and I need to get him um, checked for a microchip. Jennifer's first instinct paid off because the microchip provided two names, one for the dog, Nugget, and one for the owner, Jesse Springer, who just so happens to live almost 2,000 miles away in New Mexico. Can you hear mom? Nugget! Jesse says Nugget ran away seven years ago. When Jen texted me, like, I was like, wait, what? Like, I mean, this dog never left my side, so I thought he had like walked off to die because he was already old. But how could a dog who rode horses, went to rodeos, and even survived being shot just walk off to die because of age? Jesse says for years she tried to find Nugget. But now, thanks to a complete stranger and Carolina loving hound rescue, we have reunited animals that have been gone for a week or a month, but typically within a hundred mile radius. Uh, but nothing like this. Jesse was flown in from New Mexico to Greenville, South Carolina. Yeah, there she is. They put me on a flight immediately and here I am, like it's insane. For an emotional reunion seven years in the making. <laughs> it's unclear how Nugget got from one side of the country to the other. You got a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> However, instead of running away from home this time, Nugget will be able to fly back home with his true owner. In Greenville. Look at how happy he is. I'm just thankful to finally have him home for, you know, the last few years that he has. Rashad Williams, WYFF News 4.